Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something exciting for all you broadband internet enthusiasts out there. We're talking about EE's latest broadband offering, which is 1.6 gigabits per second, that's gigabits per second, broadband powered by the new Wi-Fi 7 technology. So let's get into the nitty gritty and see if this is a game changer for your home internet experience. EE is a big player in the UK broadband market and is known for its high speed internet and reliable services the latest offering, 1.6 gigabits per second broadband, promises lightning fast speeds, rock solid reliability, and the power to connect up to 190 devices at once. The 1.6 gigabits per second package has been around for almost a year now. EE initially bundled a router called the Smart Hub Plus, which was based on the Wi-Fi 6 standards, but it had ethernet ports that were limited to one gigabit, which was a significant disadvantage as it stopped you from utilizing the full 1.6 gigabits per second download speed. You also got a smart Wi-Fi Plus router to create a mesh network to help improve the coverage in all rooms of your house. Before we go any further, I'd like to ask you all a favor. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps getting it out to more people and I'd love to get feedback. Moving forward to autumn 2024, EE have now released the Smart Hub Pro which has 2.5 gigabits Wi-Fi ports as well as Wi-Fi 7. Wi-Fi 7 supports features like multi-link operation, allowing devices to connect across multiple wireless channels simultaneously, which should significantly boost speeds and reliability. The mesh network side of things is now provided by a smart Wi-Fi Pro router. As I'm an existing Busiest Home Bundle subscriber, EE have provided me with an upgrade to the latest Smart Hub Pro router and its mesh router free of charge. I have to return my old Smart Hub Plus and Smart Wi-Fi Plus, which appears to be what subscribers up to 900 megabits per second or slower download speeds now get as standard. Let's now have a look at the new equipment. First time I set this equipment up, the hub required a firmware update which took about 10 minutes. I also interestingly have the option of improving my ping which I accepted. This appeared 
on paper at least, to improve my ping from 11 millisecond to 9 millisecond. I am informed by EE customer services that the link between the Smart Hub Pro and Smart Wi-Fi Pro also uses a Wi-Fi 7 backhaul. In addition, you can also connect them together using a wired backhaul which can free up Wi-Fi bandwidth. Let's undertake some speed tests using the new system. As you may have seen from a previous video, I also have been using a Wi-Fi 7 based TP-Link Deco BE65 router at home. So I will also compare performance compared to this router. The Wi-Fi 7 device I will be using is an iPhone 16 Pro Max smartphone. The Ethernet is connected to a CalDigit TS4 which also has a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet connection. First, let's check the Ethernet speeds. As expected, we can now get the full 1.6 gigabits per second download speed from the upgraded Ethernet sockets on the Smart Hub Pro. Let's check the Wi-Fi 7 speeds using the iPhone 16 Pro Max. They seemed a little on the low side. So I ran the test again using Wi-Fi 7, this time using the TP-Link BE65. Wi-Fi 7 speeds are very similar, whether using the TP-Link or the EE Smart Hub Pro. As I don't have any other Wi-Fi 7 devices, I cannot determine if we can go any faster. Next let's try a Wi-Fi 6 device, a MacBook Pro. Interestingly here, performance between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 appears to be very similar. Finally, I'll test Wi-Fi performance using the Smart Wi-Fi Pro which in my case is situated two stories above the Smart Hub Pro. My ceilings are made of standard wooden floorboards covered with carpets. The new EE Smart Hub Pro is a definite improvement over the Smart Hub Plus, certainly with Ethernet performance. Whether Wi-Fi 7 makes a significant difference over time remains to be seen. The Smart Wi-Fi Pro also has better performance than the older Smart Wi-Fi Plus, and this is perhaps due to its Wi-Fi 7 backhaul. However, we still remain a long way of getting 1.6 gigabits per second over Wi-Fi. We should be getting much higher Wi-Fi speeds even with Wi-Fi 6. Perhaps a future firmware update may improve performance. Let me know your thoughts. Are you getting better Wi-Fi performance from the new Smart Hub Pro using Wi-Fi 7? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's great to hear your feedback and the comparisons that we can make using your benchmarks at home. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.